Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's six. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to make beats like ESTG from scratch. I'm gonna be focused on more like the dark melodic type shit, so it's not like extremely dark, but it's still dark, you know what I mean? But let's get right into it. We just hit like 560 subscribers. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but like that's a good amount considering I just started like posting consistently like two months ago. For all the people that are not subbed up and y'all just watching, make sure y'all press the sub button. It's the road to 1K right now. Let's get to 1K. Make sure you sub up with the notification bell on so you don't miss any of the sauce. But yeah, let's get into the tutorial. All right, default template, I just have a hi-hat and clap. I suggest doing that so that when you load the project, it's already like this. Feel me? First I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just start with like Electra because it's a fire, just like, I don't know. The, the plugin is really synthy and he be using a lot of synths. So we're gonna be doing like a, a 145 BPM. His album just dropped like a month ago and this shit is like, a lot of shit is just like hard, like bouncy, like dark melodic type shit. I mean, he has some Detroit on there too and like some like dark shit, but I'm focused on the dark melodic type of vibe. I did a little three notes that so then copied it over and then pitched up an octave and I put half time on it. And that way, that way it's gonna give it some range, like some octaves to give it more like fullness. Just gonna EQ it, do a little low cut, a little high cut. I, if you've seen my last video, you know I fucking love Portal. Hey, real quick, if y'all gotta follow me on Instagram, go through on my Instagram at Robert6Beats. I'm hella active. You know, if you want a chance to work, I'll be posting opportunities on my story sometimes. So yeah, head over to Instagram at Robert6Beats. And honestly, I'm gonna just take this pad, consolidate it, reverse it, trim it, stretch, generic bleeding, cut the tail off. Cut it into like this, four, and then put it back in order. That way it's like in the progression order that it was in already. Then you could, I mean, you could like actually keep this part and cut it in half like this. Put it as the first part and then have this as like. There, already got something going. Simple little progression. You already know what's gonna happen. Consolidate because consolidating, uh, then flipping it, everything sounds unlimited times better. Like you consolidate it, flip the fog out of it, and it's gonna just sound better. All right, this is like the bass, and it's honestly, it's honestly like coming close to being done, like the melody. Uh, but I'm gonna just go ahead and like start laying out the drums, like the 808 and shit. And I've been telling everyone, if you want hard hitting drums, get the exclusive multi kit, cause this should be hit. Every time you go to this little thing, boost it and EQ it a little like that. Way harder makes it hit way harder. You just want the shit to be like bouncy. difference at the end one two three four five down and then an octave up put it back down an octave and then put it one up so it's four down see it's just adding a variation for real gonna add open hat You're just gonna wanna turn both of those down like a good amount and then maybe pan them too and then after that you know, just get your snare, turn the loop points off. Make sure all the loop points are off on every single one of these. For the snares, keep this shit simple. Like his, his beats are hella simple, they're just bouncy. But yeah, it's pretty fucking simple. And then after that, I'm hearing like, instead of this clap, I want a snare. So I'm gonna go to DB's kit. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this kit because if you use my code Robert6, I think you can get 15% off. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, Robert6, uh, code in the description. Dude, that's way harder. That's pretty much 
about the, the drums are done and the basis of the melody is done. Now I'm just gonna add like little ear candy and maybe some extra shit like uh, like an intro with a bass or something. So let me just do that. So using the tension notes right here, it's gonna go uh, uh. Now I'm gonna add one more thing. This is already getting pretty full and you still gotta have um, room for the artist, but I'm gonna add like maybe uh, some keys, but not like full on, you know, just maybe some like accent or depth and feeling. What I'm gonna do to this is obviously you already know what I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna drag it in. I'm gonna consolidate this one, the one I just did, the the keys, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna make it sound like just better um, by you know doing portal on it. I want it to be like kind of a little faster, like the rhythm. So I'm gonna try to find like a, a the fucking camera cut out. But I was saying I'm trying to find a portal preset that has a rhythm to it, and that way it'll give it some more bounce. I'm a freeze it again or consolidate it again with the portal preset on it so now it has a reverse portal preset on it so then i'm gonna chop it up and shit and since this was literally the same I'm just gonna cut that off and then put this how it was And then for this accent right here, it's gonna put like Echo Boy on it. Doesn't even it doesn't even need to be consolidated. Like that's some shit like you flip and some shit you just leave like I'm gonna put portal on it too. And honestly, I might change the sound because it's not sounding exactly how I wanted it to sound. Yeah, it's kind of sounding too patty. I want it to sound like a pluck. This could work, just gotta pitch it up. portal kind of like almost in the background but like it's gonna make it sound better so there's actually a preset called background and it works perfectly it's like perfectly blended so now you have your entire beat right all you need to do is arrange it so quickly I'm gonna show y'all how to arrange it it's just a simple trap uh, intro uh, you could do a pre-chorus we'll do a pre-chorus for this one but you, you know usually just straight into the chorus and then the verse and then repeat. Now that I'm realizing that I'm gonna do a pre-chorus, I'm actually gonna do a bass for the pre-chorus. Just gonna make sure it's on Porta. After that, look, so boost it and then EQ it, and then you just turn it down a little bit. Same with the same with the 808. It's just gonna add some more boosts, you know, some more crunch to it, some more distortion. If you don't do that, then it won't let go. And then duplicate this and then go back down and then one up. Gonna, gonna put the 808 to uh, a five. It just sounds better, so I'm gonna put this down one. So make sure you split all this shit by channels. So now you have all your stems of your drums right here, and plus the snare. Since we're doing a pre-chorus, think of this as the intro. Eight bars, right? All right, duplicate, that's pre-chorus. Duplicate another two times for the chorus, another two times for the verse, all right. Now what you're gonna do is delete all these drums. Um, delete the bass at the first part, and then keep this hi-hat and the snare going, right? So yeah, I'm gonna have the intro four bars instead of eight because it just feels too, it just feels like it should come in sooner. I'm gonna do, and this right here is gonna be pitched down for the intro. And this accent thing won't even be there. Forgot to freeze this. What it is gonna do is gonna just reverse it. So now that that's eight bars, just gonna consolidate it. See how, see how it fades in? It, it's like, it's so far. Delete the bass when the 808 comes in, obviously. Just like the intro, gonna pitch it back down for the chorus for half of the chorus, for the first part of the chorus. And this accent on the second part of this chorus is gonna go up. Same for the, the verse. Open hats, uh, they're not gonna be there for the first part of the chorus. Also, I forgot to do anything to the hi-hats, so we're just gonna do this real quick. Just simple rolls here and there, and then obviously gonna change them up. For this part, you're gonna do something else. All right, got the hi-hats going. 
for the for the when it drops into the chorus, I'm gonna delete the hi hat and the clap, or not the clap, the snare. from a low octave to a high octave and it just makes it like hit harder when the second part of the chorus comes in so it's like you're singing the chorus right and then all of a second all of a sudden like the second part of the chorus comes in and it just starts going harder and you're just like going it, you got to think about variation how the listener is going to react to music because when they hear switch ups they're like oh shit like <laughs> it could be something as simple as literally just octave switch but that should be going hard every time keep the first simple like for the switch up Now you know when the verse comes in, right? When the verse comes, right when the drums drop, take it all out, and then um, take that out too, and then only have the high octave one on the verse, or the low octave one on the second part of the verse, don't even have it for this one, and then delete the accent over there, and don't even have the accent for the first part, and put it on the second part, the low one. Or actually no, put the, the high one so that when it goes back to the pre-chorus, it goes back to the low. And then this shit right here, what is this? that for the verse like right right when this cuts out this comes in it's just like oh shit it goes to something completely different type shit make it unique so for the second part of the verse I'm gonna pitch it down actually not gonna pitch it up turn it down see this is why it's good to consolidate shit because it'd be getting annoying to have to like move the little clips so just gonna consolidate this it's easy like way easier to move like look delete all this for this part i'm gonna pitch it down i feel like we've used this too much in the in over here so i'm not gonna have it in the verse way better keeping the verse like simple like this lets the artist be able to just go in on the verse type shit duplicate two times and then you could keep the last verse but i'm gonna just go ahead and delete it literally just change the second verse so it's different from the first one The listeners are used to hearing the open hat with the other open hat, so now I'm gonna leave this one, just this one open hat by itself so it's different. Now it's unpredictable, it's like, oh, now I'm only hearing one open hat at a time instead of both. Cause look, the whole song, both are together the whole time, and then you just have this one different switch up. I mean, you can do the same thing over here, but just gonna have one switch up. That's done, to be honest, but uh, I'm gonna show y'all some mixing too, cause obviously the mixing isn't done. I have a loop master, and I'm gonna show y'all everything, show y'all all the presets. I will be selling presets, I need to put it together, but yeah, I'm gonna be selling presets. People keep asking me like, yo, when the presets come out? But yeah. Um, soothe just to yeah, you, you can just copy the settings and then fresh air literally just a little bit a little bit and then um, MV2 just a little bit just a little bit of compression and then imager just a little bit <laughs> literally It's mastering so in mastering you just do a little a little here a little there and it adds up to fire Like you know, and then I got a little EQ taking out a little bit of the muddiness and boosting a little bit of highs Everything except for the bass route to this channel, right? That's the loop bus and I don't put the bass in there because the bass, you know, I don't want to like compress over the compress the other shit. So just leave that alone. Um, put your drums on tracks too. So go to unsorted. By the way, you're able to just right click all these channels right here and then press control L. Now everything should be on track. Move this over, hold alt and arrow to move, then route it. Just a little bit of high end. So took some out with the stock, you know, built in EQ. If you don't know how to do that, where you solo an entire best, you hold alt and then right click. So now this, this is gonna be um, panning around with Pan Man. So it's, it's gonna add like, you know, ear candy going around the speaker. That doesn't need anything, that's already sound good. Pan this one a little bit to the left or the right and then pan this one other lead to the left. All right, that's pretty much done. You want to make sure the snare is loud, but not loud enough to where it's hurting your ears when you want to turn up the, the whole song and like go crazy. Because sometimes when it's too loud, the snare is just overpowering everything. Hi-hats should be not as loud as the snare. Hand them to the left. 
want the 808 to be loud, but not like ducking the whole track, like muddying up the whole track. Just get it to the sweet spot to where it's like, you know, it's hitting, but it's not overcrowding the track. Right, the camera cut out again, and the battery's about to be out. So this is coming to the end. I want the accent snare to be as loud as the main snare, because the main snare is the main snare. You can do whatever the fuck you want. It's all preference, but I'm just saying what works for me. Now what I like to do, the final thing, go up and down until you find the sweet spot with the drums with this loop bus. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope this helped you. I know it did if you apply the information. But anyway, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe with the notification bell on so you don't miss any of this sauce. Comment. Let me know what other videos you want me to make. Like, I'm, I'm wanna, I wanna see what y'all want me to do. I'm always on my Instagram. I'm posting like polls, like, oh, what video I should make. Just wanna give y'all like the best videos. Make sure you like the video. Let's try to get this video to like 100 likes. Thanks for watching. It's been six. Peace out, y'all.